My name is Fred Woodbury. See, I grew up in these parts, just south of Arden Parish. My mama would always take me to Bible study every Sunday, even when the war with the North was going on. Back then, life was simple, but that all changed when the North attacked Fort Carmen. I was too young to fight, of course, but I sure wish I could go back and change whatever happened that day. See, folks, they were saying all kind of crazy things happened during the attack. We couldn't know for sure, but we did know the North won and would soon win the war. My Aunt Irene, she used to tell me that the North used some sort of crazy chemicals that they were experimenting with to try to win the war as quick as possible. I don't know if that's true, but it seems to me they did something awful funny that day. See, it took a while, but not long after the attack, people started changing. They just weren't themselves. Folks I go to school with, see in church, they started being hateful. And they looked different too. And nobody knew what was going on. So no one knew how to stop it. But it seemed to affect everybody. Except me, that is. Well, me and my mama, I should say. You see, my mom liked to pretend that nothing was wrong. We'd get up every Sunday and go to church. Read the Bible together. Even if we was the only one there. And that went on. Until one Sunday. We went to church. Someone. Or something. Was there before us. My mom. She dropped to her knees and prayed. She didn't even finish her prayer. I was so scared, I ran. I didn't look back. I ran for miles and miles till I came across this house. I hid there. Finally got the courage to look around, check out my surroundings. And I could tell nobody had been there in quite a while. But in one of the closets was a Confederate uniform with his rifle. Now, I don't know what came over me, but I took that old dusty uniform and put it on, grabbed the rifle, and knew from that point on, I was going to fight this thing, one way or another. So I slung the rifle over my shoulder and marched back to this church. When I got there, I could hear him from outside the building. Now, I don't remember much about that first fight, but I do know I put every round I had in that ugly, evil sack of meat. Once the emotions had gotten out of me, I looked at my mom's body, decided to give her a proper burial. So I carried her all the way to Blanchett Graves. Selected the nicest plot they had and buried it myself. My dear old mama. And that was several years ago. And this evil disease has only gotten worse. But I've learned how to fight it. How to find these monsters and banish them. But I'm not the only one in these swamps anymore. There are others. Hunters, they call themselves. Say they're part of some AHA organization. You might think they're here to help me fight for the same cause. That's not true at all. No, 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 no. These hunters are out for gold, glory, or power. And they'll turn on anybody. So even though we have a common enemy, I fight alone, and make no mistake, I will defend my homeland, I will avenge my dear mother, and may God have mercy on anyone who gets in my way, because I will know it.